We answered one last two weeks ago. Why people fall into temptation. Now, if you go back to your notes, you will see that temptation is when the devil makes sin so attractive in order to entice you to fall into it. When the devil makes sin so attractive in order to make you fall into it. See, a shoe. temptation a fine tune ni ro a fine tune no ese de bi pe a wu e lati se ko le ba asubu mo de so i said it when i started teaching you that every single time there is opportunity there is promotion in front that god has a glorious plan for your life the devil will seek for permission to tempt you remember that and every time you fall into temptation you fall out of a peculiar will and grace of god for your life so why do people fall into temptation? Last week, uh, two weeks ago, we took one. Do you remember? We took one answer. So we are looking at why do people fall into temptation? O, O, two. Next week, we look at O, O, three. Now let's go to the Bible. Luke chapter 8 and verse 13. Why do people fall into temptation? O, O, two. Luke chapter 8 and verse 13. Now once it is projected on screen, I think we'll stand up. Do we have it on screen in front of you? Okay, let's be on our feet in honor of God's word as we read together. Shagada Basende, Lebos. Let's be on our feet. After the count of three, one, two, and three. Let's go. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root which for a while believe and in the time of temptation fall away. Let's read it again. One, two, and let's go. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away. Now look at this. Sit down, sit down, sit down. He said, uh, it was a parable that Jesus was sharing, the parable of the sower. He said, those seeds that fell on the rock, they are an example of believers that, you know, they hear the word of God. And when they hear the word of God, they believe. They receive it with joy. They receive the word of God with joy. You know, after receiving it with joy, but because they do not have root. Their root is not deep. The Bible says, in the time of temptation, they fall off. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to look at this kind of Christians today. Christians that fall in the time of... Why do Christians fall? Why do people fall? From the parable, we see another reason. Why a believer in Christ can fall into temptation. They fall into temptation because they do not have a deep root in Christ. They do not have a deep root in Christ. I call such believers the vegetable kind of believers that can be carried away by every wind of doctrine. Now, why do they fall? Why do they fall in a time of temptation? The Bible says they fall because they don't have root. Now, what does it mean not to have root? What does it mean not to have root? It means that the person does not have a deep understanding in the things of God. Any foundation, it can lay or chill, lay it to you, ye to to ni ni pan con loro. People that do not have deep understanding about the things of God. So it means that if you say I'm a Christian and you don't have deep understanding in the things of God, in the time of temptation, you will fall. If you don't have deep understanding in the things of God, in the time of temptation, you fall. Now, such persons. Uh, uh, sorry, such a person's understanding about the things of God is very shallow. Now, do you know, look up, if you are finished writing, there are some Christians that believe that the moment they are born again, everything will be rosy. Ah, Tobati the born again, Totify from Jesus, Bubu Akon, my easy. And Tobaso, whoever tells you that deceives you. So, such Christians, after they, get, uh, they got born again, Look up, they got born again, and they'll begin to see that maybe they experience a little bit of difficulty, they will fall. Do you know why? They don't have the understanding 
that being born again does not mean you won't face challenges. Because look at it. Jesus was inside the boat. Abi was he not there? He was there now when the storm was against the boat. The storm was hitting the boat. He got to a point the disciples said, Ah, ah, master, master, I, I, don't you care that we are going to sink? Then Jesus came out and did what? And rebuked the wind. But Jesus was inside that boat. Now, some, so, some believers don't have that understanding. I went to preach somewhere and I met this pastor. You know, after preaching, the pastor came to see me. A, a general overseer of a church, he came to see me. He said, I don't want to serve God again. A general overseer of his church. I don't want to serve God. I'm disappointed in God. I said, Pastor, what happened? What happened? The pastor said, sir, he has two children. One boy and one girl. And his, his daughter fell sick and died. Why will the child, the son of a, no, I mean the child of a child of God die like that? Powerful question. Why will a pastor's child die like that? So while I was listening to him, and I said, Pastor, wait. The Bible says God will not do anything without revealing it. He won't allow anything without revealing it. I said, wait, are you trying to tell me that God did not show you any sign that will have made you to prevent that thing? Ah, he said, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. There was one time, oh, that I got one dream. I said, what is the dream? He said, I saw an eagle flying, an eagle flying. He said, and there were two chicks, little chicks on the floor walking around. And the eagle came down and picked one. I said, then what did you do after that? He said, I didn't do anything since I didn't have chicken. I said, God showed you that the devil wants to take one of your children. He showed you so that you can take steps. And I told him my experience, that I have this experience when the, the late Reverend Esso Folau was alive. He said, before any bad thing will happen, you first, they will first show you. If they show you, you keep quiet. In the realm of the spirit, if you keep quiet, your silence means you accept. He said, but if you stand up to pray against it, it means, no, it cannot happen in my life. I learned that. And I told pastor, I said, you are the cause. God showed you what the devil planned to do, but you didn't do anything again about it. You know, and he got encouraged. Now, that pastor has become a bishop. A lot of Christians don't have understanding on spiritual things. Have you not seen Christians that will be telling you, now, nah, somebody said he posted it on Facebook because we'll be loose election. The man wrote it on Facebook that I can, I can tell you of an assurance that God does not exist. That we pray to him about Obi, we pray to him about Obi, and yet it will be loose. God does not exist. And people were abusing him. And we want shake with him, one shake with him, Facebook. I told them, it's not to abuse him. He does not understand. I backslided too, many years ago. Nigeria, Ghana. As a young Christian, 1991. No, was it 1991? Nigeria was playing with Ghana. During their lawyer good days, when a lawyer goes, the goalkeeper. And in the fellowship, I was saying, Lord, Lord, let Nigeria beat Ghana. They beat Nigeria 2-1. The second day, I packed my Bible. I will not serve God again. I packed my Bible. I will not serve God again. I'm going back to the world. I will go back and begin to do all those things that I was doing before. I won't serve God again. And I now met one brother in the fellowship. He said, Brother Prince, why didn't you come to fellowship? I said, God offended me. I prayed. He didn't answer me. You know what the brother said? He said, do you know whether those players know God at all? Do you know what they themselves did? Did they plan? Did they, did they practice very well? Now, if God answer your prayer, do you want to tell me that the people in Ghana too did not pray? The Ghanaians who are praying that they will beat Nigeria. Nigeria is praying that they will beat Ghana. That it is the preparation level of the two teams that will now determine who wins. I came back to God and I said, Lord, I'm sorry. A lot of Christians don't, don't have root. Can you imagine somebody will say, Lord, 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 Tori Oko, Nimoshe Sumo, Timbati Roko Bai, me ne sien. Ah ah. Sir, ma, love is love. It's not based on any material thing. See here. Now let's go on. We are still studying. It means that the person does not have a deep understanding in the things of God. Such a person's understanding about, the, about God is very shallow. A deep-rooted Christian understands his relationship with that his relationship with God 
is very important. And he does not, uh, 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 sorry, and we, God is very important. And he does everything possible to protect his relationship with God. That's the understanding. We have gone through challenges. At times, some people will come, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. Eh? It's like God does not love me. I say, see, me, your pastor. I got married. First three years of my marriage. I didn't see a child. My wife was not pregnant. First three years of my marriage. What do you think I was thinking the first year? If my love for God was based on what God would give me, I would have backslidden. That's why you must understand. Your love for God must not be based on what God will do for you. Your love for God must be based on, I just love this God. Imagine you go and marry a wife because you say, ah, my wife has a very beautiful shape. What if she gets pregnant and gives birth and the shape is gone? Will you divorce her? That's why love should not be sitting on anything. Say here now. So, Christians who don't have deep root are the types of Christians that easily backslide during temptation. Now, let's go deeper. Why is it that some believers are not deeply rooted? Why? Deeply rooted. Why? Why is it that some Christians are not deeply rooted? Let's, I brought four reasons. Why is it that some Christians are not deeply rooted? Some are deeply rooted and they are growing. And some are not. Why? Why? Number one. Some people got saved genuinely. But joined a church. Where they were not properly taught. The deep things of God. Now can you imagine this? Hello me. Hello me. Hello me. Hello me. Hello me. Hello me. Pastor be will call one jinle. You know, there are some churches that will tell you, ah, the reason why you are serving God is because of the way God is going to bless you. Some churches will not teach you the deep things of God. Some will only teach you, ah, like there are some churches if you attend, some churches are miracle church. I remember there was one church one time. They are no longer popular. I don't even know whether the church still exists. Let's check it. Does it still exist? Does this exist? You know, there was a time everybody was going, let's say, I, I told them that the name of that church is wrong. With God, there's nothing like, let's say, say oh. with God, there's what we call process. Yes. Because there are I told them that time, and people were rushing. But by the time we roll, ya, turn ya, turn ya, turn the instant miracle. Only can look up at that. Why? They were not taught. Me, I waited three years to have my first child. We waited another four years to have the second one. When we wanted to have the third one, I remember my wife had miscarriage. Miscarriage did not stop me from saying God is not real. I followed that to go and do evacuation when the doctors told us that, sir, whatever, whatever is there is, is blood now. So we have to evacuate, wash out her womb, wash her womb from all the blood that is there. When my wife was to deliver her firstborn, when women in church, mom pray for they go to the altar, they, de- they go to the hospital, they deliver. None of them ever went to, 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 uh, to the uh, uh, operation room. But when it was my turn, my wife got there. She labored for two days. I went to the hospital. Doctor said, "Sir, her pelvic is not opening. There's no service. We just need to operate her if you want this baby alive." We learn how to say "Oluwa, ah, Oluwa." But to the people, ye ye me pe. Obama si obeniti alone on ba she operation from Adam. He had a better alone on your cock cock kunlo on la na tesia ti a doctor lo. Bo she kunlo on to. It's true. I have that understanding. 
But hey, man, yeah, I want members. I want all my job. Totally cozy hospital. Nibi don't say ah ah ah. You got go. I like see you go. You got go. Totally cozy go. You got go. Cozy go. Nibi don't got go. What they cool? Top of I want young man. I want to see a lot. A lot of resist. You got go. Cozy go. I think like a book of Luke. Doctor lento ko. Paul gone so care was sick. Luke treated me. Jesus was sharing a parable. He talked about a man that had accident on the road. Remember that parable? He said the, the Pharisee passed by. Nothing happened. He didn't talk to them. The, another, a righteous man passed by. He didn't visit the man that was sick. He said, he's talking about who is a true follower of God. He said the third man came. He saw him, carried him and took him to an hospital. Jesus mentioned hospital. I said, call it in letto. Look, 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 she's bad disappointment. She's bad day. Something backslide. If you join the wrong church, you can't grow. If you don't grow, when temptation comes, you will fall. See, I hear now. Listen. Maybe the pastor is either a baby himself, a minister who went into church planting prematurely or out of offense. You don't know that people establish church for several reasons. Some people, they will, they will rebuke them in church. Pastor, you did wrong. The next thing, he will go and start his own church. Now, we are God's power evangelical mission. He will go and start greater God's power evangelical mission. Now, some two were genuinely called. Hear me? Genuinely called. But it was not yet time. They have not matured enough to be able to undo the job of an overseer. They went to start church. Members gather with them. How will the members under them grow when they themselves are infants? Say I hear now. Are you sure you are here with me? A minister who went into church planting prematurely or out of offense or for selfish gain. Some people went to start church out of business. Now, what do you think they will teach you? You know, there was a time too, we used to have one man of God. He went to jail. This man will tell you, he's an apostle of prosperity. Those days, I don't want to mention that. Anybody could be watching me online. Those days, he will line up cars. Whenever he's come, he used to have a, 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 a prosperity crusade. Kinikon 1, Kinikon 2, Kinikon 3, his cars, Kinikon 4, Kinikon 5, Kinikon 6, Kinikon 7. And all he will do is, when he organizes crusade, he will be showing you, see my jeep, see this car. Now, if you come and give 200,000 naira in the next one month, God will give you this, God will give you that. Do you know that they are no longer in ministry again? That's the re- I'm showing you reasons why some people don't grow. Because of the church where they attend. They, they don't have deep understanding on the things of the spirit. Let's rush through. Let's rush through. Hallelujah. Talk to me, hallelujah. You can do better, hallelujah. Listen, maybe the minister only understands some parts of the move of God because he or she did not open up to learn from the experience of other ministers. Now look up. I want to tell you something here too. Please come, Mr. Benga. Now, no, face me, face me. Just face, stay like that. Please. Is there anything black in his shirt, in his cloth? Apart from what's on his, on his cloth now. Do you have any black thing here? Any? Let me hear you. Now, if you are to argue about his dress, will you say there's anything black in his, on his cloth? Answer me now. You'll be saying, no, there's nothing black. But me that I'm looking at him from the front, there's black here. There's black here. You are looking at one side of God. Me, I'm seeing this side of God. Now, you are arguing based on that side you see. Me, I'm arguing based on this side that I see. That's why I see. If you sit down with a pastor that does not, he himself does not open up to learn from other pastors, he can't pastor you well. Are you getting what I'm saying? Most of the things I teach you, I read a lot of books. That, okay, let me listen to what Pastor Adeboe has to say. Look at when Pastor Adeboe came up. That the priest could not understand that. Pastor Adeboe said he was drinking tea. He was taking tea. 
And he said, Lord, I would like you to take tea with me. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. He said, and when he wanted to pour his tea, tea was finished. Daddy Freeze doesn't understand that one. Daddy Freeze said, no, God does not eat. Have you heard that when you say somebody is awesome, you can't describe him. He's a sovereign God. He can decide to be yes today and no tomorrow. He shared another testimony. He said he was going on, an, on a road and there was this small bridge that could only accommodate one car. Me, but I got testimony and he had it. He said, and our road, okay, you know the road. He said, and he was on high speed. He was on high speed. He was on high speed. They were driving. A vehicle was coming. He said, and the driver could not apply brake because this vehicle that was coming. Pastor Nebu said, now prayed, Lord, save us. He said, and they drove side by side with the other vehicle. Boom! He said, when they parked, he went back and he was foot counting. Sit down, Pastor. He was foot counting. One, two, three. He said, that road could not take two vehicles. Even up to now. How did they pass? Say God. Ha! Now, can you imagine? Me, I've not experienced that kind of miracle. He said, lie. He said, lie. That's why, listen, as a Christian, your own personal experience alone is not enough. If you want to know God, you must listen to the experience of what others too. That's why I will still say it here tomorrow. Churches that don't agree that they are members to go to other churches or to listen to other pastors cannot produce matured Christians. I'm sorry to say, they, some of them are our fathers. That's the problem we still have with deeper life till today. You will see some deeper life brothers, 46 years old, they are not yet married. They don't understand what he, they don't understand the principles of marriage. There are some people God called them into manage ministry, marriage ministry. Listen to them. That's why, so that I will not mismanage your destiny. I read Christian books, I read medical books, I read financial books. And I make sure I listen to ministers like so that I will not mismanage you. Why? Because I want you to be well rooted. So when temptation of sickness come, you know that you can play and take drugs and overcome it. Am I communicating? Now let's read the Bible. Let's look at this. An experience like this so that you can understand what I'm saying. Acts of Apostles chapter 18, 24 to 28. Acts chapter 18 from verse 24 to verse 28. Let's read. Let's look at this. Then answered Chapter 18, yes. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandra, an eloquent man, and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. I want you to see this one. Mighty in scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in the spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only what? The baptism of John. This man, as eloquent as he was, he didn't know the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He only knew the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. Whom when Aquila and Priscilla, these were missionaries with Paul the Apostle, uh, had heard him, they took him unto them and did what? And expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. Please, every pastor that is listening to me online, this is one of the reasons why you need to be attending conference. This is one of the reasons why you need to be at reading Christian books. And my ministers that are here, read. So that you can understand the area of God that you don't understand. There are topics about the things of the spirit that I don't understand. You know what I used to do? I will go and buy books from pastors that understand it. I will now read it very well. Until I gain understanding, I will now teach you. A lot of people don't grow because they attend churches where they are not properly taught. Life is not all about miracles. So. I must tell you. I come again. Life is not all about miracles. So. 
Oh yeah, what that? Let's say, let's say, yes, I will, yes, I will, yes, I will, yes, I will. When we need miracles, we know what to do. But when we need to understand the pathway of the work of destiny in the journey of life, we should seek for wisdom. The Lord will give us deeper understanding. In Jesus' name. Now let's finish it. Let's finish that scripture. We'll stop at 28. Now look at 27. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote, ex exhorting the disciples to receive him, who when he was come, what did he now do? Because he had been taught, helped them much, which had believed through grace, because he had been taught. For he mightily convinced the Jews, and that publicly, showing by the scriptures that Jesus was Christ, because somebody taught him. Before he didn't know anything about Jesus, all he knew was baptism of John. Baptism of John. Baptism of John. Baptism of John. Do you understand what I'm teaching you at all? I'm showing you why some Christians don't grow. Pastor won't go baby. And in time, they want to show you a miracle. That's why we have marriage program every last, last Sunday. Teach you how to handle relationship. Teach you how to handle marriage. I went somewhere. One of our daughters was getting married. They said I should be the one to join them. So they organized the wedding. They, they, they went to rent a very big hall. From uh, uh, most of the members came from um, Gospel Faith Mission, and they gave me a mic to preach. And I said, "Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord!" They said, "Hallelujah!" You know, general language. I said, "Please, I want you to understand." Mufe ke mo, anita wanini ori jokumbi the adura kolumulero. It is not prayer that sustains marriage. Ah, I want Gospel Faith Mission. Nike wakilwa mulero abayero. Ode kama wani jo wu yani yao adura kolumulero ke. You know, I do a new, I do a call. so. Money will be you by moon, Jesse. Tia Tamanja obe, Tio Nja. Tua fi, I do a be obe, Tio Jacales, if I do a quick, you lua meal. You do let no can or call me. Muniki Ah, one I do out, she, Muniki Monsoni. Number two reason. Why believers are not some believers are not deeply rooted? Number two, some we are immediately made officers in the church the moment they gave their life to Christ. I come again, some were immediately made officers in the church the moment they gave their life to Christ because of what the church will get from them. Hello, and what is it? Hello, me, she me. Tobati what church you buy once if you want to join you to rinse it jolly riga no one want. Edi moke oye uma muri eni wu imagine kong pe eni diki. One day bereke alone on baba alone on mama alone on mama kilo two months ani alone on two ni uri metani uri metal alone ni uri kando inje alone on baba uri keji alone inje toma. It happened in Paul Yongochio's church. He said he ordained a lot of people as Dickie and Dickness. He said they now ask them in the Faust Fellowship. What is the Trinity? He said somebody said it's God that has three heads. He said he had to call all the Dickens back to class. Put them in a the Bible school for training. Sir, ma. Ma je confi e joye ni church. O ye ti wogan mo pe. O kodju o shun wafun. Hello. Tete ju o wo ti pastor yen wa le. Fun pe pastor egba. E sha fi mele. What do you look for in church? You look for training. Not for title. Some people will get offended. If they don't give them title on time. Why are you in church? My mentor shared with us. He said one day, a woman, they joined the church and the following Sunday, the woman came to him and said, Bishop, we, I want us to, to talk. He said, the woman came to the office and said, Bishop, you see, my husband is a good preacher. If you can ordain my husband a pastor, ordain me a deaconess, 
I'll be sponsoring the church. And I'll buy you a new car. Imagine what she came for. Now, if such a person faced temptation, will he not backslide? He will backslide. Because tied to is not growth. So, and that's the mistake some pastors make. Now, let me finish the reading. So, some were immediately made of officers in the church the moment they gave their life to Christ because of what they will get from them. And the devil will use the position to make them proud to the point that they will feel that they do not need to learn. One of my friends of blessed memory, ah, I pity him. Anytime I, I think of him, I see saw his picture on Facebook yesterday. Anytime I, I see his picture, I pity him. I was there when he saw one, one reverend was being ordained bishop. Sincerely speaking, I was at that ordination. I saw the way they were doing it. That day I feel like becoming a bishop too. Sincerely speaking. The way they organized the coming in of the bishops. The way they organized their sitting arrangement. The way they gave him the, the, the cloth and the staff. They call it staff of authority. Bishop, we know in Jenjo Tansoy. The way they did it, 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 they did Ah, Bishop, who me join your minute on you? Oh, who me by Jet? I suppose you will be losing what I mean. Or have you lost school of Bishop one? Abasha, I pay a lini fellowship. Taman she can look about any no lua. Muba Pirica. Kilo shall let see or any wa fellowship more. Only was of our pain to buy the Bishop. Who lay Terry Bafu and a Kenny. Tabico boy was Sula Ben a Kenny. To the Alaco Sony Bishop. Ah. Any title that will not allow you to learn will destroy you. Throw it away. It was not up to three years. He's dead now. That title push him. Now he's gone. They have buried him. If I bury him with that cloth of bishop, with the cap of bishop, and with the staff of bishop. Esma, tu ba je ke baba wa nu luwa baba nu luwa ton pe e ko je ko fe keko jule ton ba ti pe so mi nse baba yin nu luwa o One of the things that will keep you growing growing as a Christian is that you must re remain teachable Say here now say here 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 We saw that one too in let's look at that one too Acts of Apostles chapter 8 18 to 20 while they are opening that scripture, Acts 8, 18 to 20, let me ask you, what did you come to do in this church? Kilowawa, no? Let me even ask you. Me, Nikkei down, generally, eh, yin, gang, gang, fora, yin, kilewawa. Turi, elok, polok, wani, yin, sing, le, shen, binu, sing, mi, avi. Elu, mi, abinu. Eh, ba, ti, ba, ti, mo, ti, wan, church, yiki, ma, yi, ti, to, si, ko, di, ke. I want I want our go as a mistake la ni awon kan go se Ah Emi go mo E mo igba yin a ku ti po a o ko e ja e ja fi kan de won o I will tell you truth o ye fun gbogbo e pin dikin fun gbogbo i kan ni won mu gbo lowo mo yin One of my the is we dey Somebody called me and says, I'm going to die in here. I'm going to die in here. I'm going to die in here. Ah, God. Would you young pastor? You know why I'm telling all these things? Pastors are listening to me very well online. Though they don't use to mark that they hear. But most of them used to tell me later. Don't make those mistakes that I made. It was it was a mistake. Though some of them were genuine, but some of them I felt some of them would be offended. Oh yeah, add them, add them. All of you by means of ordination for now. To bat it if I be no be no cool, cool and say. 
What I'm after now is your spiritual growth. Now look at this. Look at this. Uh, Acts chapter 8. 18 to 20. And when Simeon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given. What did he do? He offered them money. Next verse. We are not yet through. When he saw that they were laying hands, saying, give me also this power that whoever, whomever, whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. Can you see? He offered them money. But the apostles knew that this man had not grown. If we give him this power, he won't grow again. Third reason why some believers don't grow. Number three. Some got saved genuinely, but did not create time for proper discipleship. They, some of them gave, they gave their life to Christ genuinely. Let me say this. I want me, one D D for you, one for Jesus, one for yonder siko. Ti a le fi komoni a wè koto ye kaman. Ti wè a fi dak banin wè mi. Can I tell you this truth? Church of God, hear me and hear me very well. Beloved, faking root requires a whole lot of commitment. And to ba ma dak ba spiritually, you, it requires commitment. Some of you got born again of recent. I see you in believers class. Some of you will still be skipping class. There is nothing we can do to help you to grow if you don't create time to come. Taking root takes a lot of time, a lot of commitment. I remember those days when we gave our life to Christ. When I gave my life to Christ, I used to go to church in the days when there was no service. I'll come to church. I'll see the pastor. Please, sir, is there a service? You see there's no service. Please teach me something. So the pastor now feels special time with me for follow-up. He, he didn't come to my house. So I'll be going to church. He'll be teaching me Bible. I didn't even know I'm going to become a pastor. He grow spiritually. I'm a man. Mommy, I yo. Oh, my, this Sunday meta. Teddy, be me. A papa, my wa. Papa, my wa. If I did that, I would tell you, she won't watch service move about. Benny. And let me take back contract in me. She had a little bit of a You know, let's be sincere. She had a little bit of a don't work. Why go money? Why do you issue? Why don't you do for me? No, be a da. Hey. No, let's be sincere now. One lunch, I would do foul. Oh, while no, one year, I want no do or shoe, while no, never. Oh, to two mummy, nibo, what did eh? Oh, no, 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 Len Shakosi. And you want to grow? How many eh? Eh, me, me, look, a pass on, come on, dad, pass on, try, and you lay, what? Pass on cannot do more than what he's doing. Just have to my I won't force anybody. See eh, ba shetan ati lo onu, e mi ma lo. Ti pe ba do te ba wa mi wa le e ba mi. I've gone. But pe mi ni ko yin e baba iro I'll teach you. Growing requires commitment. Te ba mo ise ti mo se kin to grow de bi ti mo grow yi. Let's let's go on. Ki a yo maropo ni mo ba be o. Ya shi na yo mi na wa nbe. It's your own. It's just a temptation about the UFO. It's true. Everybody's temptation will come. But if you take root, you will stand. I will tell you something. Let me see if time will permit us. Let's go. Yashin on the Coco Epo. Take him out of Okay. Listen, you will need to create time to come for believers class, baptism class, Bible study, both personal and in church. Whatsoever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. Show me Acts of Apostles chapter 2 verse 42. Ewoba wa Christian ai igbani bo se dagba. Acts chapter 2 and verse 42. Te ba binu teni e ti wa no abi. 
Abi, if you verse, you have come this service. Eh, shall they call no service? Let's look at this. Have we said? And they continue steadfastly. What? Where? In the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayers. They continued. That's how to grow. That's how to take root. Because some of them, it's not the fault of the pastor. Some of them, it's not that pastor wants to give you title. Some of them is because you did not create time to be in church. Do you know that as we are in church now, some people in church are still busy. Some will still be busy watching movie in the church. One will film. Let's take the last one. If you're angry, praise the Lord. <laughs> now look at the fourth one. That's the last one for now. Some got saved genuinely. But fell among the strange children in church. Hmm. These strange children show them things that hardens, hardens their heart and distracted them from growth. Let me come again. Some God saved genuinely. One fire, one from Jesus, low talk. But fell among strange children in church. What dara for more and one more jijinu church. Shame of Homer Ibewa. Homer Ibewa. I'm going to go to the sink contest on one nigger. On my party, and sha. Another party, I hear one see. Now, and that's the problem of some. The moment they gave their life to Jesus Christ, see, can I tell you this truth? Don't agree. That everyone in church has come to serve God. It's not everybody that came to serve God. Some people in church are angry with the pastor. Some people in church are angry with the church. Some people in church are angry with God. If you choose them as friends, they will distract you. That's why when you come to church, you must watch who you associate with. That's why some people are not rooted. And the pastor did not know that those people are not rooted. Maybe pastor saw that, okay, you know we have them in our church here. It's every church. Uh, and in there, well, this person has stayed long in church. Okay, let's make him or her. Um, 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 ah, I don't want to be misunderstood. Let's make him or her uh, light Department coordinator. I don't want to mention any department because you might misunderstand me. And because you see that anytime there's service, he just comes here doing the service to fix the light. And ah, or maybe when the service, he comes to say, "Give me some a, a, a note." Is there any man sumo papa? Where I can sumo? Ah, ah. Only man level. See. Kotobe is initially in church. Lajue dada. Take your time. Shimawa. Magboro lorun. Are you hearing me? Magboro lorun. Kode mawo. Take your time. I'm telling you. Take your time. Mawo. Wodada. I know some of my daughters in church that will have grown very well. But the people I gave to follow them up. This our daughters got discouraged when they came closer to them. Oh my, we want church you. Emonto let tell me about me. If I meet you, I want your body church. Somebody say, move and join department. Move and somebody that look at our department. Me and we are there by me. Ah, ah, hey, the man Lord, me they saw my first Lord. The man Lord department. Yeah, I want you bad no come. I want you, Gina. Because you are you, you are coming from outside. You want to come to church with the wall, for instance, so church. 
Definitely. Kusinto burumbe ni ye. Abi watu mbo lati tato wani ya. Infa mufe. Mute ma fi gugun kon. Owo misile ma asin yon loron. Tore ni. Mufe jon yon sha. Tore ni. Lala yon sha. Tosai. Mupe lebe jadi. Tosai da. Sen yon ya. Aje ki. Shishara. Iwa gantu mbo lati ta wuga. Ah. Ah. On chapra pra mbi yo. I'm showing you why some people are not rooted. Can I tell you the truth? Bo she wala ni omo ojo, as is among the congregation, is in minister's meeting. When I go for conference, I know of some pastors that apart from their wives, they have girlfriends. You know what I do? I, once I discover that you don't have marriage, this is me, you don't have marriage, you cannot be my friend. If you're a pastor. Once I discover you, you can't be my friend. Once I begin to hear abusive language, odd language on your lips as a pastor, you can't be my friend. That's me. You to watch it. Who is your friend? Friendship is not by force, it's by choice. O possible kin o len te ti o mama ejo mama she has scripture ke ejo mama encourage ara yin o possible o je ko je iru iru emi sin lara nkan to je kin dagba ninu emi ni e ah o si wa up to now yeah ti bi tori e la se fa iru e wa mora gba to join church tori e la se fa mora iyawo e fan where is iyawo tori e la se fa mora you can relate with me. You can relate with us. Yes. If I see that you, you want to be a genuine Christian, we are always available. But don't relate with the wrong set of people. And how do you know the wrong set of people? The Bible say by their what? By their fruits. If you look at their lives very well, you will know that this one is not born again. They will not allow you to be rooted. Are you blessed this morning? Have you learned something? Be on your feet. I will go where you want me to go. The Lord over mountains, all land, all sea. I will do what you want me to do I will be what you want me to be now look up before I pray for you that's why number from the first point as a Christian you must be committed to studying Christian literatures are you hearing me read Christian books from other sources, not only my book. Read topics that you don't understand. Go to the Christian bookshop. Buy books on topics you are yet to have understanding of so that you can grow. Under the second point, please stop looking for title. God told me, I told my wife, and I announced it in church, over 15 years ago, I was praying and God said, son, you must never allow the title of a bishop to be conferred on you. Just leave it as Pastor Prince will. I won't forget that day. 15 years ago, and I came to church. I announced it in church. A church member, Bishop Any title that will not allow you to learn, throw it away. Are you hearing me? Open up to learn. What's the thought thing I talk about? You must create time for your spiritual growth. It's not, I don't have time. I'm busy. Money. I'm busy. Uh, things of this world. Create time for your spiritual growth. Come to service. When you are coming to church, listen, you come with a Bible, 
You come with a jotter. You come with pen. And the final thing, you come with an open heart. I want to come and learn. And when you come to church like this, service starts. Please, put your phones on. on either if you are the type of person that maybe information come to your phone, you can put it on vibration. Or on silence. Keep it somewhere. I mean, God's presence. Don't receive call during church. Because you can miss your word. And if you know that you, you have nothing to do with it, quick information, leave your phone. Keep it somewhere. And the fourth one, watch your association. Don't be going to the bloggers that criticize Christianity. Don't come on bloggers. Come on. Or a woman of God, no more so, 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 so. Man of God is using private jets. If ordinary see no Ronaldo have private jet, Messi have private jet. Ah ah. You know she alone will lie. To ban ma. Davido have private jet. What is private jet? Is this not just a source of movement? Don't join them to criticize them. He didn't say, and what they do in church is just to collect money from innocent people. Let them go and start. Whether it is easy to collect money. No, whether I mean, even you standing, how much have you given? You just you yourself say, okay, if I'm the kind of man, if pastor have somebody like me, 500. Just ask and answer yourself. It's not about money. Lord, we thank you for today's teaching again. Help us that will be established in the way of salvation. Make us strong, O oh God. Give us encounters that will make us to know you deeper and better. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Today is the first Sunday. I'll be anointing you for open doors. Do we have any first time in the house? Anybody coming for the first time? Anybody like that? Just wave your right hand.